This tutorial describes how to create 3D videos in Roxio Creator. To start, run Roxio Creator, click the Video Movies tab, and then click Edit Video Advanced. Roxio VideoWave opens to the Welcome to VideoWave screen. Click Create a New Production and choose the 3D format that matches the aspect ratio of your primary source footage, whether normal 3D, which is 4x3, or widescreen 3D, which is 16x9. Click OK to open the new 3D project. You can import both 2D and 3D movies into a project, but it's most efficient if you import them separately. In both cases, click Add Photo Video and navigate to your files. These are all 2D, and I'll select them and click Open. In the Select Source Format dialog, I click the 2D Radio button and then click the Apply This Format to All Imported Files checkbox to load all the 2D files. Then click OK. VideoWave converts the 2D files into a high-quality side-by-side 3D file using proprietary image and motion detection algorithms and displays a converting videos dialog. Conversion time will depend upon the length and format of the 2D video files and the speed of your computer. To import your 3D files, click Add Photo Video again, navigate to your files, select them, and click Open. Tell VideoWave where to insert the files and click OK. Again, in the Select Source Format dialog, select the format of the source files. In this case, videos from the Fujifilm FinePix Real 3D camcorder. I'm going to select the wrong option to show you what that would look like and how to fix it. You can see that this is off here. To correct it, right-click the video, choose 3D Format Conversion, choose the right format, and click OK. Then click Yes. Much better. Let me fix the other files quickly. OK. If you're adding photos to your project, use the same technique. Click Add Photo Video. Choose your images. Click Open. And tell VideoWave where to insert them. Then identify the kind of image. I'm importing files from mixed sources, so I won't click the Apply This Format to All Imported Files checkbox. Instead, I'll click OK and identify all images one by one. This is the same procedure you would use if you simultaneously imported videos from mixed sources. OK, our content is in. Now let's look at Preview, which is currently set to show the anaglyph image. You can change that to left eye only or right eye only by clicking the respective option. If you have a hardware-assisted 3D screen display device installed on your computer, click Change 3D Screen Display to open the Options dialog. Make sure the On Radio button is selected and choose your hardware-assisted display technology. Click OK to close the dialog. For the most part, you edit 3D productions the same way you edit 2D productions, adding transitions, effects, titles, and the like. However, some effects like Stabilize Video and Rotation are not available for 3D files and will be grayed out in their respective control panels. To output your project, click Output and choose an option. For details on outputting your 3D project, check out our separate tutorial on choosing how to output 3D.